Sure, who are you? Sick for broadcast, please. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, your Congressman Vargas. Vargas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congressman Vargas. Um, obviously, Congressman, when you were on your way to the train station. I was coming back. Coming back from the train station, you heard what you thought was a pop. That's right. And a police officer approached you and noticed your pin and recognized right. that you were a member of Congress and he suggested that you take your pin off because you may be a target. That's right. I w all I did was I heard these pops. I was just walking back to the Capitol because we were going to have a second set of votes and a police officer, after I heard those pops, comes running at me desperately. I'm thinking, what's going on? And he says, stop right there, stop right there. I said, okay, I stopped. And then he saw my pin. He goes, are you a member of Congress? And I said, yeah. He goes, let me see your identification. So I showed him my identification. And then he goes, now take your pin off. I said, okay, because you could be a target. I said, okay, I'm sorry. So I took my pin off. I said, what happened? He goes, uh, two officers went down. And I said, you should shelter in place. I said, well, where do I do that? Because <laughs> you know, they're closing down the office. And then I got a call at that moment from my staff who said that uh, they had just been told to shelter in place, to lock the doors, go into the back room in our office and, and shelter in place. So that's what they were doing there, let me know that they were okay. So what are your feelings when you hear about this kind of right in your own backyard, yeah. and being a member of Congress and safety and um, that's two officers that down, we don't know whether one is or not or not. What does it make you feel as a member of Congress? Is there anything that you can do to change this yeah, seems I, to be this know, more I, trend in this country? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, you know, the rhetoric, the, the excitement that's going on right now in a negative way, you know, can't be good. And then you know, easily accessible weapons, you know, they can go and get a gun and, and start shooting if they want to. And even though this is probably the best security in the world, the reality is you can walk right up and if you had a gun, you could start shooting. It's not a, you know, it's not a very difficult thing to do. If you know, you're an evil doer, it's, it's quite easy to do. Do you think Congress would try to put more laws in place as a result of this? Yeah, I doubt it. I mean, I, I'm certainly personally in favor of it. But, you know, they've killed children. Right. They've massacred, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of people, and you know, we haven't been able to pass any laws. So unfortunately, I don't think we will pass any laws that are meaningful when it comes to to violence control. As a member of Congress, do you feel violated, upset by just this total disruption <coughs> of your life and, and just the whole well, no, area? Not, no, no, not me personally. I, I just feel horrible for those two police officers. Right. Just hope that they're well. I mean, they've got families, I'm yeah. sure. And, you know, anything that, you know, it just you know, shouldn't happen to them. They're, they're really nice people. I mean, obviously, and if they were hurt or killed, it's, it's horrible. Well, thank you. Yeah, anyway, thank you for what you did. Oh, sure. Sir, I just missed the first part of that. What?